Good day. Welcome, my friend, to the What's to Know show. I'm your host, Peter Whalen, and this episode is about the Crave TV show Letterkenny. I grew up uh, 10 minutes from Letterkenny, so I was excited to see that someone had made a documentary in the area. The, uh, the Letterkenny kids were always on the bus to Barry's Bay before me, and I thought I might see someone I knew. Then it opened with, there are 5,000 people in Letterkenny. You're touring with your pals the other day. That ain't right. It's maybe 50 tops. Then I saw this clip. You say? You heard me. Buddy, you're softer than a Tootsie Roll fruit cup. You look like the skunk my dog killed and probably raped. Not to be impolite, but holy oofed and who talks like that? By the Reef and Ginger, those guys are not from Letterkenny. Now, I'm not going to lie. I pretty near never watched this show. For three years, I had no time for it. It looked like a bunch of degenerates making fun of country folk. And uh, maybe it is, but it's entertaining. So the first thing to know is that the show has nothing at all to do with Letterkenny, Ontario. Now, to be fair... 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 Hmm. No one claimed it was a documentary. It's a comedy. Also, the land is way too flat to be Letterkenny. It looks like Sudbury. So, pitter-patter, let's get at her. Uh, this is my invitation to you to uh, check out the show, Letterkenny style. The, the show continues a long tradition of Canadians poking themselves for fun. And uh, we Canadians know that if you can't laugh at yourself, then you're missing out on a lot of the jokes. If you love uh, humorous wordplay and uh, alliteration, you're going to enjoy the show. Uh, the guy who created it is Jared Kiso, who hails from Listowel, Ontario, and he plays the Wayne character. And Jared was sitting around one day and, and thought to himself, I just got an idea. I'll go stand out in my field and talk directly to the camera. Then I'll put it on YouTube. Yeah, you have to be kind of twisted to do that. It's almost not worth thinking about. And he managed to make that into a full-fledged TV show with uh, three seasons so far. Good for him. That's what I say. Good for him. I'd go so far as to say I enjoy Letterkenny. I came for the name and I stayed for the laughs. Uh, the second thing to know is that Letterkenny is uh, professionally done. The cast, they throw themselves into their performances. The writing, the direction, lighting and sound are all world-class. I... Um, I imagine Letterkenny looks good on everyone's resumes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Pete, what are you saying? What are you doing? Canadians don't admire the work of other Canadians until they make it big in the States. Figure it out. That's what I say. Figure it out. They've earned the praise. It's funnier than pretty near anything out of Hollywood. Now, it is an edgy show. Uh, they're bouncing hard on the slack line, to be sure, to be sure. You never know where they might land. And uh, there is plenty that you could take offense to. Uh, I did. But if you can simmer down and laugh it off, uh, you might enjoy it. Personally, I, I like the Wayne character. Uh, he keeps his truck clean, his shirt tucked in, enjoys a snort. Doesn't kiss and tell, because that would be impolite. Here's the scene that hooked me on Letterkenny. I relate it to uh, Wayne on the left. I love how Wayne moves. There is uh, physical humor without being comical about it. What's an accessory gland? Well, if your vas deferens is your sperm ducts, the accessory glands is what supplies lubricant to the sperm duct. I think if I ripped open my ball sack trying to do a skateboard trick, I'd be most worried about seeing my seminal vesicles. Oh, like the Florida State seminal vesicles? Like the sack that hangs behind your vas deferens that contains fructose, which is energy for the sperm. Yeah, it's like when you go in the city there and they got them charge stations for the people what drive the electric cars. That's pretty much your seminal vesicles. I thought it was pretty funny when I said Florida State seminal vesicles and nobody laughed. <laughs> Every day I say something that I think is funny and no one laughs. Uh, I invite you to check it out for yourself. If you watch nothing else, uh, I recommend the relationship episode. It's um, on season two, episode three. And it starts with the boys uh, hucking a ball around and discussing their prostates. I pretty near choked on that one. Um, and in season three, 
episode six, they discuss what's the stupidest thing they've ever heard. And that had me howling. Uh, I'll include links to, uh, to those in the show notes. Uh, the links will work once you sign in to cravetv.ca. They offer a, a one-month trial. You might already have it as parts of your TV subscriptions. So thanks to my buddy Gord for suggesting today's show, and thank you for watching. Not to be impolite, but I just got chorn to do. Makes yourself useful and subscribes to this channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, leaves a comment about your favorites uh, uh, scenes from Letterkenny. Figure it out. Be seeing you. That's fairly interesting. This is the What to Know Show with your host, Peter Wayland.